Hi, welcome to the Niels Homestead, and we're back at the house that we're flipping, bringing the Niels Homestead to town. I'll show you a little bit of what we got going on here. Everything's really dirty and a mess right now. Part of that is on purpose because we're in the process of doing sheetrock, and if we leave the dust and the dirt everywhere, when the sheetrock mud drips down, and hits the floor, it doesn't stick to the floor. So this is the like entryway and the foyer, if you will. I added this closet over here. This was originally another entrance. This is what I call the parlor. Um, this house has these old cool pocket doors, giant heavy deals. I had to put all them back on tracks because there was a lot of sagging and stuff in them. I think they roll pretty good right now. I still got a little bit of tweaking to do. Another thing about these old houses is they're they're built good and solid, like this door, you know. They're, it's hard to find things that are built as well. A lot of it is so cheap nowadays. A lot of the mudding and taping lately in the bottom part has been being done by Timothy and David. And I'm really proud of them for learning how to do it. They're doing a great job, especially for the first house. So over here we have what I call the living room. This one has two pocket doors that come together. I'll have to refinish the brick on that fireplace over there. And then there's a half bath over that way. And then over this way, we have the dining room. And we have Timothy and David mudding away. So there's this hallway that you can see from the entrance. This goes to the front door, and then there's a side door off there that goes to the basement. It's got a full half stone, half brick basement. This is the kitchen area here. This is the laundry room. This is the pantry room. Uh, I think it's a pretty good sized pantry for most houses. This is a back porch entry and little landing and steps. Originally this area where I'm standing was a porch and there were some steps coming out of here to the ground but it was all like long since out of commission so I added this completely from scratch. Um, I think the materials for this cost around 1500 bucks. This is a cool old cabinet that was here that we've been able to leave in and this is just an example of some of the cool woodwork that used to be in a lot of these older houses. Um, it's pretty neat. It'll have to have some work done on it. This is the alternate entry to the stairs that uh, is kind of loved and hated around here. So we're gonna go upstairs now. This is the entrance through the dining room area and then the clearance is really low so you gotta watch your head. It's even lower up there. So this is upstairs. We have a bathroom here. Got, it's, I guess, a three-quarter bath because it only has a shower, no tub. And this is what I call bedroom two. They're pretty good-sized bedrooms. Closet for it. This stuff was so much work. To rip off the wall, all the plaster and lab, carry it down the stairs, outside, haul it all off. Tons and tons of work in this place. It's good to see it coming together and being almost done. This is what I call bedroom one. My helper is in here doing some, some sheetrock muddy. Having lots of fun. Hi, Dave. Hi. This is the old clawfoot tub that was in that bathroom over there. This thing, we haven't hauled it out of here yet, but we need to soon. This thing is a ton. It's really, really heavy. Stays glass. Oh. This room has two closets. Originally, it had one closet in this way and one closet in the master bedroom. Work hard, Dave. I'll do my best. This is the master bedroom. There was a closet here, but I turned it around the other way because uh, over this way, I converted what was a small bedroom or it was used at one time as a kitchen into a walk-in closet. And this is the attic access as well. I got it open right now, so it's a little bit in the way. But this is the master bath. Um, I've got a tub and a shower that I put in here. All the old stuff had to come out. Um, it was originally really cramped. And so I added this little room here for a toilet area. 
I've kept a lot of windows in here. Uh, I like to have light. I like to be able to have air, air movement, natural air movement. There originally were more, I think, too much. So many that, like, if you took a bed in there, you'd be, where do I put this bed? Because there's nowhere that's not right in front of a window. So I changed that around a bit, got rid of some. It'll be tighter that way as well, won't lose as much heat. There's a lot of storage available upstairs too. If, if you wanted to store Christmas trees and stuff up there, uh, that's a nice thing about older houses is they've got that big space usually that you could store stuff in. There's another stairway here that goes outside to the like garden area outside and then turns and goes down to the basement. And then this is back to the kitchen and David working on we're back to the front porch. I changed the size of it a little bit from the original one. I made it a little bit wider, I think, and but not as, uh, I guess, deeper and not as wide because it used to go all the way across. But I spent over 3000 almost 4000 so far on materials on this, and I think it's only gone up from there. And I still have to put railing around it and uh, lattice around the bottom. So. Materials really have cost a lot more. This probably would have been 1500 worth of materials pre-pandemic. And it's probably pushing five if I were to buy it now. This has been a few months. Stuff's really gone up and that hurts. So we're trying to get this place wrapped up and we'll try to keep you posted as we go through the various stages and get further along in this and show you what we end up with. So we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.